Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are going to try to cast some spells in here. So one thing we'll pull a dew into a bowl. Oh, we got that. Into a bowl. We got a bowl. So let's take the thimble full into a bowl. Doop. Doop. You add the thimble full of dew to the bowl. Okay, done. Place one tuft of fur from any animal into the bowl. Hmm. Her concern of the cat seems warranted, so... Let's go ahead and keep that for you other add the purposes. Dog fur to the bowl. One rounded spoon of ground fish scales. Uh, which one is it? It's just an empty con fish scales. Fish scales. Quick! I don't have time for the all this. Cream colored toad. Inside the jar, you see the. Inside saffron. The nightshade. Nightshade. Within the glass contain scales. There we go. Take that, put it in the bowl. You measure one spoonful of ground fish scales and add it to the bowl. Okay. Drop one small feather from any bird into the bowl. Okay. Well, I got some chicken feathers. Those are probably the best way to go. The chick. Yeah, the chick. <laughs> oh, crap. You shouldn't try making up your own spells. Oh, remember that. We'll try that again once I get to that point and read that a little more carefully. Okay, so what I did wrong before is I fiddled it with it wrong, and hopefully I've done it right this time. Um, in fact, actually, I'll just save it real quick beforehand. <laughs> what it was is I used by touching the item with my hand, which apparently counts as part of the spell. So that messed it up when I went to go put the item in. Mix it with my hands. Mix the contents by hand until they become doughy. There we go. And then recite the spell. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the Understanding the Language of Creatures incantation. Mm. Fur of beast and reptile skin, with scale and feather tooth thrown in, grant me sense to comprehend animals of water, earth, and wind. Sweet. We talk to all the animals. Okay. That's it. Separate the... Oh, wave a magic wand over the bowl. Okay. Uh, I have that too. Boy, it's a good thing I'm reading. Take the wand. Over you the wave bowl. the magic wand over the bowl. Separate dough into two pieces and place it in your ears. So theoretically, you carefully divide the yes. mixture into two pieces and place the dough pieces in your ears. You will now be able to understand the speech of the animals, birds, and fish. Nice. You will not, however, be able to speak to them. The spell will last as long as the dough is in your ears. Still, that's pretty cool. Alright. Let's take a look at another one and save as we go, because we still seem to have time. Obviously, his outing this time is much longer. What else do we got? Flying like an eagle or a fly. Put one pinch of saffron into a jar of rose petal essence. I got both of those. Recite the following. Wave a magic wand over the jar of essence. To activate the spell at the later time, dip an eagle feather in the essence if you wish to become an eagle. Dip a pair of fly wings in the essence if you wish to become a fly. To return to your own form, recite the following verse. So ends my fun. My flight's now done. Okay, well we can do this real quick. That's rose petals, essence, saffron into rose petal essence. Let's, um... Let's see the little vi yep rose petal essence don't don't touch it with your finger Whew, that was close put that into you this add a pinch of saffron to the vile mart rose petal essence and then recite the spell with trepidation you prepare to recite the flying like an eagle or a fly incantation that'll Spirits be useful air, cloud and breeze lend me your wings that I may seize the opportunity to fly. Allow me passage through the sky. Now I have that as long as after I wave the wand over it. And that'll come in handy for future use. You wave the magic wand over the vial of rose petal essence. Bam. So now I should just be able to dip a fly, which I have, or an eagle's feather into that to make it useful to me. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. <laughs> Just keep making spells until we run out of stuff. How about that? 
<laughs> All right. I keep overriding the same one. All right. Let me say, is this the beginning of the book? This is the first. Okay, cool. So we got flying like an eagle spell. Teleportation at random. Grind one spoonful of salt grains with a mortar and pestle. I don't think I have salt. Grind one sprig of dried mistletoe. I do have that. So that'll be good. Rub one smooth stone. I got a smooth stone. I don't think I have the salt, though. That's what I'm missing. And then kiss the stone. And that'll be able to teleportation at random. But let's go ahead and see what else we got. Causing a deep sleep. Grind three acorns with a mortar and pestle. Put an acorn, put acorn powder in a bowl. Put one cup of nightshade juice in a bowl. I don't have any acorns yet. But we do have, and well, you can mortar and pestle it to make it that. But we don't have any acorns yet. We have nightshade juice. Stir the mixture with a spoon, which I have a wooden spoon. Light a charcoal brazier. I don't know how I do that, but I'm sure we can figure it out. But we're not there yet. So by the look of it, boil the mixture until the nightshade juice is almost gone. Remove the mixture from the heat. Then spread the mixture on the table and wait until it's dried. Recite what it's supposed to say on there and wave a magic wand over the powder. Put the powder on the pouch for safekeeping. Well, we can't do that one just yet, though. Enhancing musical talent. Ooh, if we can do this one, we can give it to that bard that can't sing out there. This is a useful concoction for the more musical of magically inclined. Add uh, one handful of hot dry sand, which I got that, to a glass flask filled with seawater. Alright, so... We've got seawater into you a flask. Fill the flask with ocean water from your cup. And we'll take this and mix it with the sand. You add a handful of sand to the flask. Okay, what else? This flask of seawater. Place a handful of soil. Oh. Yeah, okay. Dry sand into a flask of seawater. That's right. Now place one handful of fertile soil in the sand. Shake the flask to mix the contents thoroughly. So we need soil. Soil it was this one. You add a handful of fertile soil to the flask. And then shake it up, baby. You shake the flask's contents until they are thoroughly mixed. Okay, what else? Wave the magic wand over the flask and then recite the following. Uh, oops. You only have so much time in your inventory, you'll be so quick. The timer still goes down. You wave the magic wand over the flask. There we go. And recite the spell. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the Enhancing Musical Talent incantation. Earth bearing fruit from one's toiling hands. With patience of timeless, swift sifting sands, swirl through endurance, soaked salty with seas. Permit me to please all musically. You feel the contents musically of the flask would have been a stir slightly rhyme. as you finish the incantation. Sweet, sweet. Was that it? Did I just do all the rest for me like that? The draft comes in handy at functions when the entertainment is poor or non-existent. Minister just prior to the event and prepare for. One memorable performance, which means we pour that into that bard's water, I bet. Uh, and we can do that probably in here in a moment. I just want to see if there's anything else in here. Brewing up a storm. Put one a cup of ocean water in a bowl so I can get some more ocean water. Uh, light charcoal brazier. I don't know how to do that yet, but either way. Slowly heat bowl. Do not boil. Then remove. Put one spoonful of mud into the bowl. Add one pinch of toadstool powder to the bowl. Blow into the, blow into the hot brew. Recite the following. In the wave a magic wand over the brew, pour the storm brew into a jar and activate the spell. Show the finger recite. And then deactivate. Okay, to activate it, stir it with a finger and recite the thing with the stormy brew, churn anew. To deactivate the spell, stormy brew, calm, renew. Okay. Continuing. Becoming invisible. Cut a cactus with a knife. I got that. Squeeze the cactus juice into the spoon. Onto a spoon. I got that. Place your cactus juice in a bowl. I have that. Put one jar of lard. I do not have lard. Add two drops of toad spittle. I've got pretty much everything else, so we're almost on that one. And turning another into a cat. Ooh, is there a way to do it opposite? Why? Grind one dried mandrake root with a mortar and pestle and put a mandrake root on powder in a bowl. Put two spoons of fish oil in a bowl. 
put one small ball of cat hair in a bowl. Ha <laughs> the reason to keep that cat hair. And stir the mixture with a spoon. Dough will be oily. Put the dough on the table. And everything else this is page missing. This has been torn from the book. Oh, I don't know how to have to do the, that spell for particularly the right way. All right, well. No, this is the light of brazier. Okay, mortar and pestle. You don't... The flint is used for lighting ah, the brazier. So flint for the brazier, mortar and pestle. We have everything we need here for all of our work. All right, so we still got time since it's there. Let's teleport our way. I don't think I can use this here. It must be some kind of... You can't... There's some kind of spell that prevents me from doing that, so let's go ahead and head up and out. And, oh, never mind. Let's just wait for a minute. Let's die. Watch your step. So Manon is going to be back any moment now, which is actually kind of perfect. I'll go ahead and shut this. You quickly pull the levers in the correct sequence. Yep. And then I need to put this wand back. Because that was the thing you that he did mention. You carefully replace the magic wand exactly <clears throat> as you found it. And close this up. The cabinet door locks as you shut it. Word. Now I just need to go upstairs and get pretty much, pretty much everything I got. I don't know how much more I can feed this guy before I run out of food supplies. Okay. Well, let's just act like we sleep while he's gone. Boop doop doop. Boop doop doop. Morning, Madeline. What's up? I am hungry. Prepare me a meal at once. Okay, look. I want to like think about um, uh, getting more soon. Master, what is it? Speak quickly, boy. If I may know, uh, how long have I been here? Since the you were born. Part of eighteen years. Will I be turning eighteen soon? Yes, quite soon. I have something I wonder why. special planned for you that day. Is he just killing... Uh, I believe this the guy's the prince. The story from your predecessor's journal gives you a good idea of the meaning behind Mananen's words. You barely managed to hold back the shiver. Do, be, do, do. If Walt... Mananen... Mananen... Do, 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 do. Mananen... Do, do, be, do, do, be, do, do. It's just your old tin bucket. Can I? There's no. Jeez, oh, you can't do nothing. Fortunately, you can't do as it is some nothing. How am I supposed to cook for this guy when I run out of supplies? I'm about to be screwed. Mananen is bothered by your interruption. Gwiddy and I have many things on my mind. Get to work, or I'll find you something to do. Mananen is bothered. My office needs dusting. Attend to it now. That's better. Give me something to do. And he gives me reason to go into his office. Uh-huh. I'm in your office like you told me to do. At least it gets rid of him. If you don't have something to do, I will find something for you to do. It's kind of cool. I guess that means I could technically go around and do all the chores as I go. Yep. Sometimes it takes him a while to get the heck out of here. Those little devils, oh. what are they doing? People? Oh. Your lord and master keeps a cold eye on you when he's not watching everyone else. Mananen is bothered. When I assign a chore, I want it done immediately. You obviously don't lack energy. Let me help you blow off some steam. I did. Alright, exercise sequence. I'll see you on the other end of this. guy's a jackass, I tell you. He's just gonna sleep all the time until he tells me he's going somewhere. F you, man. F you. All 
I don't have energy. I just want to get the hell out of here. Doop, doop, doop. Take a walk. It always goes just a couple of minutes, usually. That's convenient. Poof. What's up? I am going to lie down for a rest. Do not disturb me. Alright, finally. This should be enough time for me to get out there. Uh, I will see you guys when I make it. Hopefully this will work. I'm going to save it before I go, but I'm going to attempt to take a run down there and do some things in town while I have a chance. Start labeling these things with real names. Days. No, I don't want to hear your songs. Greetings. That's an interesting poem. Bad Thank poem you. is what it I is. I wrote it myself. It's not finished, though. What is it about? It speaks of a young man longing for a better life. Naturally. Just as I long for the seductive murmur of an audience anticipating my every word. Say, are you busy? Fairly. <laughs> yeah. But, I think I have something that might help you out, bro. I think. The jar is filled with liquid... Liquefied musical talent. Okay, let's see what happens. Hey. I want to hear it. You can't use the bard wouldn't be interested. Alright, well it's not for him. Hmm. Interesting. Well, while we still got time, let's bust out this teleportation device and get ourselves to town. I haven't been to the tavern in a bit. And maybe there'll be something there. I've also got to see about getting food for this guy if I can. I'm I don't think I have much else to feed him. Oh hey. Can we save here for a moment. This instrument looks out of place here. If I'm, I help you there? yeah. I'm wondering where this instrument came from. Young man used to come in here a long time ago, about your age, according to me daddy. Had that thing he liked to play. Seemed to make him happy. Wench, come over here, more ale. Well, you're a dick. Can I have the it? Our maid looks like she can handle anything from rowdy patrons to sneaky thieves. Better not press your luck. Can I have it? That's all I want. Uh, made this young man happy? Nah, he ain't done it for the money. Just like to play is all. You know, entertain the customers. Who was he? Don't rightly remember. Could I do that? I was only a wee mite then. I think he lived with the wizard. Though I might be mistaken. Why does the loot now hang on the wall? One oh, day just another Gwydion. Daddy found the instrument line just outside. Said it was real weird how the air around it smelled all smoky. Though there weren't no fire about. <laughs> anyway, he put it on the wall. Him. In case the man should come back for it. Do you think he will? Hard to say. No one's seen him in years. What May if it's me? The loot? You one of them musy types? Yeah, oh. I can do it. Yes, I am. Sure. A lot of man who explores his creative side. Indeed, I'd very much like to practice with it. Of course you can have it. Thank you. If you agree to play for the establishment. Of course. You want me to play for you? You're catching on good. I don't think that I'm ready to perform publicly. Oh, gone. We ain't had a good performance around here for years. Gone. I could go on. Really? Well, the loot will be there if you change your mind. Okay, let's give it a try. If they'll let me take it now. Now nah, I'm not gonna be able to play well. To try. Wonderful. Yeah. Mad skills. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty. You sure are. Can I have the loot now? Wouldn't feel right giving it to someone who's not musy enough. Ooh. Sorry. That's alright, I will be. Give me just one moment. Obviously, this is for me. You start to feel creative, inspired, and ready inspired. to play. Now let's play. I'm ready to play. Wonderful. Or that. We'll just play the songs from the movie Toys. I do not bring you come. Oh, sorry, wrong song. <laughs> Just that way he's singing. 
Oh, that was close. Oh, that was pretty good. The song. You see only stone, but the this guy's a much better voice actor than King Graham. Means my own. Touch me with song. My pain is gone. That's a poem, not a song, kid. I don't know how you got the orchestral sound and all of the extras out of that loop, but... Man skill, bro. Man skill. That sure was the best performance I've heard. When was the last one? There wasn't a last one. That was the first performance I've ever heard. <laughs> My daddy told me all about the last boy who played here. When was that? About 17 years ago. Anyhow, you played so well just now. I see no reason not to let you have the thing. Sweet. I don't know what I need it for, but I'll take it. Oh man, thank you. How pretty. No, nope. she's buxom though. Any news from abroad? You talking about gossip? Well, sort of. The kind one hears from other countries. Don't get much in the way of foreign gossip, except from the sailors, of course. Sailors? Yeah, the two sure. sitting over there. They drop anchor, come in here, drink themselves full, then set sail again. Incredible. That we get sailors in here. No, <laughs> no. That there aren't wrecked ships all up and down the coastline. Yeah, that's not how getting drunk on a boat works, but either way. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, give it a thumbs up. I gotta pause this here for a moment because I've been running for quite a while. I got that. Uh this is definitely what I didn't think did, not what I think the spell was for, but either way. Um don't forget to comment and subscribe. And hit the notification bell if you're already subscribed so you know when my stuff comes out. I mean it's every day, but it will remind you that I put stuff up. So either way. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.